Um, uh, guys, we move on to our next story. So women in the UAE are standing in solidarity with their Iranian sisters. So mass demonstrations in support of women's right to choose their own attire and against Iran's oppressive regime are still ongoing following the death of the 22-year-old Masa Amini. So Amini was arrested by Iran's morality police in the capital Tehran. Now, this happened back in September 13th for allegedly not wearing a hijab in full compliance with mandatory requirements. And local and international bodies confirmed that the Kurdish woman fell into a coma shortly after collapsing at the detention center, and then she passed away three days later. Now, women all over the world have uh, been cutting their hair and taking to the streets to burn their veils in solidarity with Amini and as a show of resistance to the long-standing misogynist oppression. Tragically, more than 75 people have been killed as the protests intensify. And as a result, the UN human rights are voicing their concern over the violence and internet uh, restrictions in Iran. So on September 27th, a spokesperson for the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Ravina uh, Shamandasi, she called on Iran's rulers to fully respect the rights to freedom of opinion, expression and peaceful assembly and association. The spokesperson added that we are extremely concerned by comments by some leaders vilifying protests and by the apparent unnecessary and disproportionate use of force against these protesters. Firearms should never be used simply to disperse an assembly. So with that being said, women all over the UAE are standing in solidarity with their Iranian sisters and calling for justice. Um, Manal Rostam, um, a Dubai resident hailing from Egypt, she wrote, what's happening in Iran is morally and Islamically unacceptable and inhumane. So she did um, put up a post on Instagram and her post went on to read, I stand with the women of Iran. Iran is not exercising the right form of Islam. They are exercising a pure form of uh, patriarchy. And the way I see it, it is a bunch of mentally ill men taking out their frustration on innocent women. This is not about culture nor religion. This is about male chauvinism in Iran. I pray for a tolerant world where the women are free to be whatever they want to do. and uh, whatever they want to do with their bodies to cover it or not cover it. Uh, following that, Iranian singer and Dubai resident Leila Kardan, she wrote, I am not my hair, I am not my skin, I am the soul that lives within Masa Amini. And um, with all of that being said, please know that protests are illegal in the UAE. For an assembly to be legal, official permission must be taken from the government. Um, and it is heartbreaking to know what women in these countries are going through because... You know, now the conversation has become so frivolous about feminism, right? You say feminism and you're just like, oh, feminism, uh, it just literally uh, boils down to ladies' nights, you know? Like, oh, you have a full section given to you in a bus, in a metro, what more do you want? This is what feminism is boiling down to, but this is what it actually stands for and means, you know? Like, standing for your rights, like, women are oppressed in so many parts of the world, and they have to fight for their basic rights. Mm -hmm. It's a right to choose, um, and I think uh, Manal said it really, really well. It's not about religion, it's not about culture. Uh, It's about the kind of the oppressive regime that's being pushed on women, and this was the tragic death has been the kind of straw that broke the camel's back, and it's finally the women just saying no more. Um, and we're seeing kind of just, you know, the, the few posts that we've shared on it, the amount of support coming in from not just women, but people around the world just sharing uh, their support. It just be it, whether it's a comment online, just showing, you know, that they stand behind the women in Iran at this really, really, really difficult time as they're protesting for their rights. Exactly. Very well said. And with these women, like it, it's just such strong inspiration to see them, you know, stand up against years and years of just... you know, patriarchy and just rules that don't give them their freedom. You know, now the fact that they've said enough is enough and we will stand for what we believe is right, what we want to do with ourselves, what we want to do with our bodies, with our attire, with everything and not just there. And America also with the whole, there are so many systems in place, put in place by men that women don't agree with. But why are their voices not heard, you know? True, and it's a it's a challenging um, government to be protesting. I guess I think uh, over the last number of years, uh, the specific protests are eventually stamped out. Um, and I think the thought process of the government is if they give any bit of leeway, um, then there won't then they lose control. Lose control. So that's kind of the thought process. But this is kind of 
the biggest protests that they've seen, the biggest kind of outcry from the government. Um, but then you're seeing kind of other governments jump in trying to get people back their internet uh, access because obviously internet has been restricted, which makes all of this, uh, all of these conversations even trickier to have. Um, but we'll follow the story and if there's more updates on it, we'll share it with you on Love in Dubai. Um, moving on to a Love in Abu Dhabi story, uh, Westlife brought